everyone, this is Karen. Hey, everybody, I am Shane. Today we have our lesson on translation practice, and we're going to talk about a topic today. What are we talking about? Yeah, we're going to be talking about, I think, really education,、mm -hmm. right? I think that the,、uh, if you just at school memorize things just to put them on a test、mm -hmm. to get the right answer, I think that you're, you're not. Learning it very deeply. That's right. And sometimes, maybe like after you memorize the answers and then you do well on the test, sometimes after the test, you forget、yeah. what you wrote or what you learned. So, I think、mm. you're talking about the difference in Asian education and whereas in the Western、yeah. education, right? Right, yeah. So, I think that maybe in Western educational systems,、mm -hmm. We focus more on finding the answer for yourself. That's right. Critical thinking. Critical thinking, yes.、Mm -hmm. To figure out a problem from different angles. That's right. And try to think of solutions or find your opinion.、Mm -hmm. So there's not much room for opinion in a lot of the Asian educational systems. That's right. right. But I think,、um, in what I've seen so far, I think they're also making some changes、of、nowadays.、Course. So I think it's good for the students as well as the teachers if you can teach them how to think、yeah. independently. And of course, facts are very important to memorize. There、That's、needs、right. to be a balance. Exactly.、Right? Exactly.、Great. Okay, well, I hope you are having fun being educated by us. <laughs> okay, enjoy today's lesson, guys. Enjoy. Translation practice. Practice A. In my opinion, having a good personality is more important than being good looking. Instead of caring so much about one's outer appearance, we should try to focus on a person's inner beauty. Welcome to this month's translation practice lesson. I am Jeff. This, of course, is Hanny. We are the hosts for this month's translation practice lesson. Well, I don't know about you, Jeff, but I am ready to translate. Let's get started. Good idea. Okay, we'll be translating four sentences today, and it is now time to take a look at the first of these. 好，今天要翻译的第一个句子是，在我看来。个性好比长得好看更重要。那么主词个性好，我们可以说 having a good personality。那要特别注意，我们用动名词或是动名词片语来当主词的时候，后面是要搭配单数动词，所以我们这边就是用 be 动词 is 来当动词。那这个句子在陈述事实，所以时态是用现在简单式。Okay, let's kick things off by explaining a couple of phrases. In my opinion, or As far as I am concerned, now everyone, an opinion, an opinion is a belief that you have about something that you hold about something. An opinion is what you think of something or how you feel about something. Now opinions don't need to be facts. Opinions are just your personal thoughts on some topic. Anyway. If you're about to share your opinions on something with somebody, you can use either of these phrases. You can say, "In my opinion," or "As far as I'm concerned," or similarly, "I believe," or "I believe that." For example, in my opinion, it's best to travel in the fall. 在我看来，在秋天旅游是最棒的。秋天是最适合旅游的季节。好，我们要表达个人看法的时候呢，可以用 in my opinion， 或者是 as far as I am concerned 来表达说，在我看来怎么样，就我而言怎么样怎么样。那么其中的 opinion 这个名词就表示意见或是看法。例如 ，in my opinion， the movie isn't worth watching。就我看来，那一部电影不值得一看。好，另外我们也可以用 I believe 加上 that 子句来表达我认为怎么样。那其中的 that 可以省略不用，所以呢，要翻译在我看来个性好怎么样怎么样，其实可以写作 I believe that having a good personality 怎么样怎么样。那么 that 可以省略。好，那我们接着来学下一个文法，重点是 having a good personality. Having a good personality. If you have a good personality. 
people probably like you, or at least they want to be around you. Yeah, if you have a good personality, you know how to act around others. You're a good person with good personal qualities. By the way, you can possess or have things besides just a good personality. You can also have a good sense of humor, so to speak. For example, if you want to get along with your colleagues, it helps to have a good personality. 如果想要跟同事相处融洽，个性好是有帮助的。那么 personality 就表示个性性格。我们可以用 have a 或是 an 加上形容词，再加 personality 来表达有什么样的性格。像 have a shy personality 就表示个性害羞。Have a good personality 就是个性好。那我们在翻译句子的时候，要以个性好当主词。那这时候就是用动名词片语 having a good personality 的形式。那以动名名词或是动名词片语来当主词的时候，记得要把它当成单数，后面搭配单数动词。举例来说 ，Breaking a bad habit is not easy。戒掉坏习惯并不容易。那这边的主词就是 breaking a bad habit， 后面接单数动词 is。Okay， let's keep moving。We have two more explanations to make in this sentence. Indeed， the first of these is the pattern is more important than。Okay, this pattern and some others like it too are used when making comparisons of two things. Which is more important? That's the question. Well, to answer this question, you'd say A is more important than B.、And、this is a good for instance. Now, more generally, the comparative sentence patterns we're examining here follow these patterns: A plus B. Plus more adjective or adjective plus er plus than plus b. For example, I have always been bigger than my little brother. Or hard work is more important to our boss than raw talent. 一个人就算有天赋才能，没有经过训练磨练也是没有用的哦。勤奋努力才是比较重要的。那我们来学习形容词比较级的句型，就是 a。加上 be 动词，加上形容词比较级，加 than， 再加 b， 表示 a 比 b 更怎么样？那么形容词比较级，我们通常是在形容词后面加上 er。如果是多音节，则会在形容词前面加上 more。例如 ，This novel is more interesting than that one。这本小说比那一本更有趣。所以呢，我们要翻译什么比什么更重要，就可以用这个句型 ：A is more important than b。Okay, let's wrap things up. Let's finish discussing sentence number one. Good idea. Oh, by the way, the next explanation is going to be easy. Good looking. If a person is good looking, they look good. They're definitely not ugly. Good looking is usually non-gendered. Okay, girls and boys both can be good looking. Anyways, yes, good looking is a term that tells you that a person or a thing even is pleasing to the eyes. You like looking at it because it's good looking. For example, movie stars are usually good looking people. 嗯，电影明星的外表、长相通常都很好看，男的帅，女的美。好，那么 good looking 它表示好看的，不管是男生或是女生，你都可以用 good looking 来形容。例如 ，Ryan is good looking, but his brother is not. Ryan 长得很好看，但他弟弟却不是。好了，那现在我们看完相关文法重点，可以翻译整个句子喽。So the sentence could be, in my opinion. Having a good personality is more important than being good-looking. All right, everyone, that's it for sentence number one, and that means it's time to start translating sentence number two. 好，今天要翻译的第二个句子是：与其那么在意外表，我们应努力着重在人的内在美上。好，主词是我们。动词是应努力。那这句是在承接上一句，所以时态用现在简单式。Okay, let's get to work. Our first explanation for sentence number two has to do with the phrases "instead of" and "rather than." Now, the phrases "instead of" and "rather than" are quite useful. If you do A and not B, 
you do A instead of or rather than B. When you choose A and not B, you choose A instead of or rather than B. The list goes on and on. For example, instead of eating at home, we went to a restaurant. 我们去餐厅吃饭，而不是在家吃。那么 ，instead of 和 rather than 都可以用来表达，与其怎么样，或者是而不是什么，取代什么什么。那他们是当介系词用，之后要接名词或动名词，所以他们后面接的这个名词或动名词就是被取代而不是的东西。例如 ，instead of buying a new car, they bought a used one. 他们买的是中古车，而不是买新车。那顺便补充一下 ，rather than 也可以当连接词哦。那这时候它是要用来连接词性相同的字词，所以要特别注意 ，rather than 有介系词和连接词的两种用法。Okay, we've got three more explanations to make right now. Lucky for us, though, they are not too difficult. Correct. Let's cover the first of these right now. Outer appearance. The term outer appearance refers to how you look to others: your haircut, your clothes, your face and its features, so on, so forth. Now, your outer appearance is what you look like, but it is not who you are. There's a saying in English: "You can't judge a book by its cover." This saying means that you can't really know who a person is if you've only seen them. There's much more to a person than just their looks. Anyway, your outer appearance is kind of like your cover, so to speak. For example, his outer appearance was nice enough, but he had a terrible personality. 他的外表长得还不错，但是个性却很差。好，外表的英文可以说 outer appearance。那其中这个 outer 它是形容外面的、外部的。Appearance is 指外观外表。例如 ，Your outer appearance doesn't define who you are. 你的外表不能定义你的本质。人不是用外表来定义的。那我们在翻译的时候要表达说，那么在意外表可以写作 care so much about one's outer appearance。我们用 so much 来修饰动词 care 表达那么在意。好 ，Everyone, it is time to pay attention. Listen up. It is time to cover the next explanation in this sentence.、Mm -hmm. Listen up, everyone. Let's focus. Thank you, Hanny. That was kind of like an、You're、intro、welcome. there to our next explanation. Focus on. If you focus on something, you pay attention to that thing. Yes, if you focus on something, you decide to look and listen and think about that one thing and not. Something else or some other things. Now, normally, what you focus on is what you think is important at some time. For example, in this part of the course, we will be focusing on computer networks. 这次课程会着重在电脑网络上。好，片语动词 focus on 就可以表达注重、着重或者是专注、聚焦，后面可以接人或是事物来当受词。例如 ，You should focus on the present, not the past. 你应该专注于现在而非过往。Okay, not long ago, Jeff said that one's outer appearance was like their cover. Now it's time to take a look at what makes a person good deep down. Right. Let's talk about. Inner beauty, inner beauty. If your outer appearance is your cover, the inside of the book is your inner self. The things that make you who you are: your personality, your sense of humor, your ability to love others and to be loved by others. Anyway, if a person has inner beauty, they are a good, beautiful person deep down. Their cover, their Outer appearance means nothing really because there's much, much more to who they are. For example, Kate's outer appearance isn't what defines her. She is known for her inner beauty. 我们不能用外表来定义一个人，内在美才是比较重要的哦。那么 inner beauty 就是内在美，其中这个 inner 就相对相对于 outer inner 是形容内部的里面的。例如。Alice is confident in her inner beauty. Alice 对自己的内在美很有自信。好，那现在看完相关文法重点，我们可以翻译整个句子喽。So the sentence could be.
Instead of caring so much about one's outer appearance, we should try to focus on a person's inner beauty. Okay, with that, everyone, we are now done with the first half of this month's translation practice lesson, and it is now time for a break. Indeed. Anyways, folks, don't go away. We'll be back with more translation practice soon. Translation practice. Practice B. Most students always rely on their teachers to tell them the answers. In addition to gaining as much knowledge as possible, students should also develop their ability to think independently. Welcome back, everyone. Hanny and I are about to get started on the second half of this month's translation practice lesson. Yep, it is time to begin translating the third sentence of today's lesson. 好，今天要翻译的第三个句子是：大部分的学生总是依赖老师告诉他们答案。那么主词是大部分的学生，动词是依赖。那这个句子在陈述事实，所以时态用现在简单式。Okay, we need to discuss. Two things in sentence number three. The first of these is rely on or upon, count on or upon, depend on or upon. Now sometimes we need other people. We need them in order to function. For instance, children need their parents. Without their parents, children would be lost. I mean, where would they live? What would they eat? This list of questions—it just goes on and on and on. Anyway, if you are in a position like this, that means you rely on or upon someone or something, you count on or upon someone or something, or you depend on or upon someone or something. Yeah, if you don't have this thing, if you don't have this person, this group of people, etc., you might not be able to function properly. Now, often. When you rely on or upon, count on or upon, or depend on or upon somebody or something, you probably trust, or you could trust that person to do something for you. For example, the boss is counting on you to get the job done. 老板指望你完成这项工作，靠你喽，要好好做哦。好，那我们可以用 rely on 或是 rely upon。或者是 count on, count upon, 或者是 depend on, depend upon 来表达依靠什么，仰赖什么，倚仗着什么。例如 ，Jennifer depends on her husband to drive her to work. Jennifer 仰赖她的先生载她去上班。Okay, Jeff, please tell us all about the next explanation. Will do, Hanny. <laughs> I'm going to tell all of you what it means to tell them the answers. Tell them the answers. Yes, if you tell someone something, you give them information, you share a story with them, etc., etc. Here's something to remember, though: you either tell someone something or you tell them about something. Okay. Anyway, if you tell someone the answers, you give them or share with them. The answers, the answers to some questions, or the answers of some questions. For example, tell me why. Tell me all about it. I will tell you a secret if you promise to keep it. There's three examples for you. 如果你答应保守秘密，我才会把秘密告诉你哦。好，那么动词 tell 它有告诉或者是说的意思。我们常常会用 tell somebody something 或者是 tell something to somebody 来表达把某件事告诉某人。那另外也可以用 tell somebody about something 来表达告知某人某事。例如，嗯、hmm, ，this is interesting. Can you tell me more about this? 哎，这还挺有趣的。你可以再多讲一些关于这个的事情吗？好，那我们要翻译，告诉他们答案。其实英文可以直接写作 tell them the answers， 很简单吧？好，那么现在已经学会相关文法，重点可以翻译整个句子哦。So the sentence could be: Most students always rely on their teachers to tell them the answers. Okay, everyone, we're almost there. Yes, we've now made it to the final sentence of the day. 
好，我们今天要翻译的第四个句子是：除了尽可能多获取知识外，学生们也应该培养他们独立思考的能力。好，主词是学生们，动词是应该培养。那这句子在承接上一句，所以时态是用现在简单式。It's true, everyone. We've made it to the final sentence of the day. Does that mean we're totally finished, though? No way. There is still a lot of work to do. Anyways, next we have two phrases to discuss. In addition to, besides, let's say you have one thing and another thing too. Something that makes what you have even better or worse than before. Well, if that's the case, you have one thing in addition to another, or one thing besides something else. For instance, you could say. In addition to having delicious food, that restaurant is also very affordable. Or, besides his frequent lateness, his work is also subpar. Notice that in both situations, one thing is being added to another. Okay, one thing is making another thing sound better or worse. For example, camping is the worst. Why? Because in addition to being forced to sleep in a tent, taking a proper bath is impossible out in the wild. Jeff 老师超级超级超级讨厌露营，他觉得去露营除了被迫要睡在帐篷里面，在野外也不能好好洗澡。好，那我们来看 in addition to 和 besides 都可以用来表达除了什么之外还有怎么样。那他们是当介系词用，后面是接名词或动名词。例如 besides singing。Irene is also good at dancing. Irene 除了很会唱歌，她也很擅长跳舞。Okay, everyone. Jeff has an intense dislike of the outdoors. I hate it. Camping is his least favorite activity. Yeah, let's be clear. I really dislike <laughs> camping. That's true. Now, I've got nothing against the great outdoors, but yes, I do avoid camping. As much as I can. Speaking of which, verb, as much as possible, or verb, as much as one can. Now, if you do something as much as possible or as much as you can, you do it whenever you can. You do not miss an opportunity to do that thing. If you have a chance to do that thing, you do it. You do not pass up the opportunity to do that thing. Now, me, I try to avoid camping as much as possible. That means I pretty much always avoid camping. If I can help it, I don't go. For example, I take my daughter to the library as much as I can. Jeff 老师平常会尽可能多带女儿去图书馆。那我们来看这个句型，就是动词加上 as much as possible， 或是 as much as one can， 就表示尽可能多的怎么样。例如 ，They try to expose their children to classical music as much as possible。他们试着尽可能多让孩子接触古典乐。那最后面这个 as much as possible 也可以说 as much as they can。OK。Jeff, I get it. You want your daughter to love books. That's why you take her to the library as much as possible. Right on, Hanny. Right on. Okay, today's lesson is almost complete. Only two explanations remain. The first of these has to do with the phrase "develop one's ability to verb." Develop one's ability to verb. If you learn to do something and learn to do it well, you are improving your ability to do that thing. So basically, if you develop an ability, you practice something, work hard at it, etc., in order to improve an ability or a skill that you have, or that you'd like to have. For example, if you don't try, you'll never develop your ability to play the piano.
。如果你不尝试，那就永远不会培养出弹钢琴的能力了。那么 ability 这个名词就表示能力，我们常常会用 the ability 或是 one's ability 再加不定词来表达什么什么的能力。所以，我们说 develop one's ability 加上不定词就表示培养什么的能力。举例来说 ，playing with jigsaw puzzles can help children develop their ability to concentrate。玩拼图可以帮助孩子们培养专注能力。All right, it's official, everyone. It is now time for the final explanation of the day. Yes, correct, Hanny. Let's go ahead and talk about what it means to think independently. Think independently. Earlier, we talked about what it means to depend on someone or something. Well, if you are independent, you do not depend on someone or something, and being independent. Can be a good thing, especially when it comes to thinking. If you think for yourself and have your own thoughts, you think independently. You don't let someone tell you what to think or how to feel, because you already know what you think and you already know how you feel. For example, young people should learn how to think independently and in a critical fashion too. 年轻人应该学习独立思考以及批判性思考。好，那么 think independently 就表示独立思考，其中这个副词 independently 就表示独立的或是自主的。例如 ，She encouraged her students to think independently。她鼓励学生要独立思考。好，那现在看完所有相关文法，重点可以翻译最后一个句子喽。So the sentence could be. In addition to gaining as much knowledge as possible, students should also develop their ability to think independently. Okay, with that, folks, we are now done with today's translation practice lesson. Correct. I hope that this lesson has been fun and informative too. Anyway, we are now out of time, so we'll see you guys next month. For now, don't go away. Everybody, welcome to English in Action. I'm Shane. I'm Holly. Hey, Holly, I, I washed my hair last night. Well,、oh, that's a first. <laughs> What do you mean a first? I wash my hair all the time. No, you don't. Like every two days. You, sh you shouldn't wash your hair too much. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, today's 主题呢，那可是头一遭呢，破天荒啊！你居然洗头发，没有啦。好了，我们就直接进入我们的对话。大家啦。Do you know the boss made coffee for us this morning? Really? That's a first. Nice. Go, go, go. Okay, in the dialogue, bosses. Don't usually make coffee for their employees, right? <laughs> 对 So if that's a first. Yeah. Wow. So it it it. 老板居然帮我们靠、yeah. 泡咖啡，哎，真的是第一次见到这种事情。Yeah. Or who would have thought? 哎，谁想得到会这样发生，对不对 ？Or、yeah. that's unexpected. Ah,、oh, so 完全没有预期到的。嗯、mm. mm -hmm.。Makes sense, right? Right, makes sense. <laughs>、yeah. All right, review. All right, so that's a first. That's a first. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? That's unexpected. That's unexpected. All right, so if you have some unexpected problem with English, 看我们就对了。